they want to know what is it out there I, I can learn so that I can be more successful. That wasn't your motivation? No, no, oddly enough. And I think probably you're right. I think that's what most people are looking for. I think they're looking for an answer outside of themselves and they're never going to find it. Um, I think by this time I realized it was something in me. I uh, met a man here in Toronto. He was the one that originally got me involved in studying this race Stanford. And he told me if I didn't like the results I was getting in my life, that I was going to have to change me because there were my results. And he said, if you're going to change you, you're going to have to find out something about yourself. And that seemed to make sense. Um, I don't think it was an earth-shattering idea. It wouldn't give anybody a brain hernia, but it made a hell of a lot of sense to me. So I started to study myself. I found most people don't know who they are. They really don't. out there I, I can learn so that I can be more successful. That wasn't your motivation? No, no, oddly enough. And I think probably you're right. I think that's what most people are looking for. I think they're looking for an answer outside of themselves and they're never going to find oh, it. That, that, that's that just size that. If you ask the average person who they are, they'll give you their name. They'll say I'm Bob Proctor, but I'm not. Bob and Proctor are two words. My parents give them to me. They're called names, but it's not me. It's my name. Then some people say, well, this is me, but this isn't me either. It's my body. Like you never phone down here to the to the studio and say body won't be in today, it's sick. Okay. You know, we don't say M hand or M leg. It's my hand, my leg, my body, my name. Who am I? Well, that's an interesting question. And I believe if a person will start to study that and look for the answer, they'll find it. See, I think we live simultaneously in three planes of understanding. We're spiritual creatures, we have an intellect, and we live in physical bodies.